Back here at home, that brutal, unrelenting heat wave in Texas has now turned deadly after a teenager died. The temperatures today felt like 120 degrees in some spots, while in the Midwest, we're tracking reports of tornadoes that hit late today. Priscilla Thompson reports from Houston. That is a tornado. I am getting the out of here. Tonight, there's a threat of a tornado outbreak, with one being spotted just south of Indianapolis. It comes with temperatures in the south hitting historic triple digits for the third week in a row, some spots reaching more than a scorching 110 degrees. From Texas. This year, it feels hotter than regular. To Louisiana. We've got heat advisories as the heat has expanded all the way up to Memphis. More than 40 million Americans are under heat alerts during an unrelenting heat wave that's now turning deadly. At Big Bend National Park, officials say a 14-year-old boy died after passing out while hiking in 119-degree heat. The boy's stepfather, racing to get help, was tragically killed in a car crash, according to the National Park Service. Both deaths are under investigation. We have multiple patients. And in Houston, a dozen people trying to cool off from the brutal heat were rushed to the hospital Saturday after getting sick at a lazy river pool from possible chlorine poisoning. There's several children having trouble breathing and uh who ingested Corey. The facility declined to comment. Now, with more blistering heat on the way, the Texas power grid is being pushed to its limits. Its operator, ERCOT, issuing a weather watch all the way through Friday, bracing for record-breaking demand. As people try to beat the heat any way they can. Priscilla is joining us now from Houston. So Priscilla, when are people there going to catch a break? Hallie, not anytime soon. We're on track to see more than 80 temperature records shattered this week across the southwest and central plains with temperatures on track to reach more than 112 degrees. Hallie. Priscilla Thompson, where folks are cooling off there in Houston. Priscilla, thank you.